What is up YouTube, HPJ here, and I'm going to be taking you guys on a look through Yu-Gi-Oh! Neuron. Yu-Gi-Oh! Neuron is, of course, the latest Yu-Gi-Oh! app that has came uh, worldwide. It initially was Japan only, I guess, for testing its beta and just to see um, if there was some kinks to work out. There's still some kinks to work out, so I'm just going to point that out there. And I did ask, of course, on Instagram if you guys would like, if people would like to see it. And the votes were pretty much substantially unanimous to one. So, yeah, uh, we're going to be taking a, I will be taking a look at Numeron. And I will, Neuron, sorry, I keep saying Numeron. I'll take a look at Neuron and I'll be giving you guys my full opinion on the application itself. So, it's a pretty standard app. You have um, a way to, be a competitive or casual with a little more ease. Uh, they gave you a feature of a calculator, uh, ways to process your decks, ways to um, get a lot of information from you without having to go through 15 different loopholes. Now, um, one of the big features is, of course, the dual feature, which sets up a calculator. So in landscape mode, it will access a nice calculator for you and your opponent. Um, it has life point features. It has the features for um, a camera setting, which I think the camera setting is probably more for cards. Um, you also have a log, which will allow you to see um, what interactions happen between both you and your opponent. Um, you have a tool feature, which has the dice and the counters set up. So you can set up counters for both you and your for taking away counters, putting counters on. You have a dice to start to help you start up the game. Like for instance, here you have a three, roll a one. You have you know flip heads, flip tails for a coin here. Um, and I do believe the dual log, you know, just sets up life points. So, yeah. All right. Well, that's pretty much the big basis there. Um, you have undo, which will help you, for instance, with your life points. You can tap your life point counter and then set up the life points that are being subtracted. So, for here, let's say um, 4,000 life points. It shows up in the dual log. Um, you can undo the feature with the undo button. Um, you can also set up the timer. So, the timer can be set up for... Um, to keep track of time and stuff like that. You can also press the reset feature, which resets it automatically and puts together what is essentially a way for Yu-Gi-Oh! players to have this all set up. Um, then, we move on from there. We have, go back into profile mode, and you have your setup for your calculator, um, allowing you to set your life points, um, have the calculator autofill, um, when you go into it, you also have the disable fleet, which allows the phone to, con which allows the app to continue to process um, without your phone disturbing it into sleep mode. And also have a power conversion, which allows you to convert the power um, when using the app. Uh, we go back to the regular feature itself. You also have a log archive, which will keep track of any duels that you have participated in, pretty much none at this current time. Um, but there's a login feature there. And then you have, um, a very much just explanatory for that main feature. The next feature, of course, is the news. It will give you messages from Konami. It will also give you product information for product that will be coming out or could be potentially coming out. There's nothing out right now. Well, there's stuff out now, but unfortunately, um, it's not showing up on the, uh, archives itself. Then we go on to Data. Data, with what appears to be an image of Silhouette of Yugi, um, has pretty much your Kasi ID so that they can scan it at events, uh, which I will show here. I think this is the standard one. Um, then you also have um, information here in terms of data, in terms of, um, you know, just the FAQs that are normally affiliated with applications as such. Then you go from there and you have your basic settings. You can change the language, you can change the resolution of card images, and you can change the number of card images set. Now, how does that feature into it? Um, well, we'll actually get into that in just a moment. Now we have contact information, in terms of licensing, licensing, and all of that other features that come within the options menu, because those have to be included. All right. Now, I did mention something about the, you know, counter of display of cards. Well, what are the cards feature? Well, 
we go to Dex and you have the basic setups here. You have the application enable you to um, look at to take snippets of cards and then you can insert the cards there. You have a search for cards option. You have the deck build. You have the look for decks and then you also have the forbidden limited list. So the forbidden limited list, which is probably the quickest thing to look at. Um, the current changes to our forbidden limited list and then a link to see what else has been what else is on the list um, in case you are curious of what cards have been hit that are not displayed here then uh, you also have the um, option of deck searching you can search up any deck within the Yu-Gi-Oh series and the masses are having this constantly grow there are so many here you can go to um, insert name of deck you can just insert any type of deck let's look up of course some of my favorites like Harpy, which we can look up here. Uh, click it into the setup and it will search, of course, for a Harpy. Give it a minute, it says connect, and there are various Harpy decks that um, happen that can easily be searched. Um, you can also look up specific things as well, such as um, other cards and other setups there, and which we'll get into very shortly. Um, then from there, because I can't get the looking back option you can actually look at the decks see what cards have been displayed it seems to be some cards missing i wonder are these cards that have not been added into our server yet yeah there are cards that have not been added into ours i believe those are probably cards from the ocg so look forward to when that happens because that's something that i i honestly think should change is um ocg and tcg cards that should be added because i believe these cards um, are not here in the TCG in variations of forms that kind of should be added. There's also the comment section of deck list where uh, people can leave comments on uh, the deck itself. Uh, you have a test of hand to test the hand of insert deck here just to get a feel of it and then the draw one feature just to draw into a hands itself. Um, you can take a cop. you can copy the deck if you choose, you can share it online, and there are a lot of tags, there's, um, Cyverse, Fusion, Link, Fire, um, so I saw Mangrate was in here, uh, information of private tournament, and then, of course, there is the category of Salamangrate, um, as well, so, that is just the big feature here, um, just for, you know, in terms of deck search, so I'm gonna press the X button, or this is not my screen, I think it's just the application itself. So. Alright, we're gonna move along because we're gonna press this and we're gonna go into deck build. So I already have my heart ooh, my heartbeat deck built uh, for you guys. We take a look at a physical version of it. Um this is pretty much just what I'm currently testing. And you see the main deck, the extra deck, the side deck, uh test of hand and all the other features that I did feature over in the other section. Some things that just standard because I wanted to have it tested for the video. However, if you go into edit, you can edit in a lot of those features. Um, you can edit in the monsters, spells, traps. You can go to the tag feature. You can um, set up the information for it, such as um, making the deck public or not. Uh, you can put the deck for either regular deck or speed dual deck. Then you have the deck thumbnail, which you can select any of the cards featured in the deck and make that the thumbnail of it. You have the category, which varies from all the archetypes within the Yu-Gi-Oh! series, and you can feature that as well for your category. Then, you can add the tags to it. You can add uh, variations. Um, I'm going to add link to this. I'm going to add... Um, I'm surprised they don't have casual here. But yeah, link, XC, winged beast all of that goodness and then let's actually enter some text here it says enter text can you enter the text for heartbeat i think it's supposed to show up well not aqua i think it's supposed to show up oh, okay i guess it doesn't show up but i figured it'd be there but you can also see here it will display the tags for you there can be comments to how the deck is supposed to work and any of its strong points um, and then just stuff from there. So, yeah, that's pretty much just the basis of the tag. And then there are also some help in virtues of where you can, uh, figure out some of the information yourself. Like how to move cards in, how to take cards out. 
uh, which I can actually show physically. So I can enter the term harpy, not jarpy, harpy, and it will display cards from A to Z of all the cards that are used for the art, the art types. Um, even some of the band options, like Feather Duster. Um, you can take a card here, click on it, it will give you the information. Cards related to such cards will show up here, which you can easily take advantage of and add. You can simply add it by just clicking onto the card, going to the to the add button and adding it into the deck. You can remove it by just simply removing the card and hitting the minus section. Um, other features to it, of course, is adding the monsters as well as some cats. The extra deck can be built from there. You can delete the deck if you choose that the deck is not something you want to look up for. It is there. Now, this camera feature, what is the camera for? Um, well, the camera can easily be used to take um, a look at your own specific card as it starts up your camera and you can go into landscape or profile and bam, you can look at the cards displayed. And I'm going to try to display this as best as possible because this is another thing I'll talk about. But you can easily see here, you can take advantage of your cards being displayed. I'm going to press the little button here. And it will look up the cards in view. So um, it may not always be accurate. They will tell you that here of a percentage of how accurate the picture itself was taken. But we have Harpy Harpers, Harpy Perfumer, and Harpy Channeler all featured here. You can take these cards with the click of the um, check off. And you can add the cards via your card distributor. And you can add it into your decks as well. I right, have the Harpy Channeler, Perfumer, and Harp is already added, but you can simply just add those cards in like such. And then we guys, of course, you can only have three of one card if it's not forbidden or limited or semi limited, but you do get the feature there. Uh, we can click the back button and just go back to the regular deck build and edit. And then just, yeah, that's pretty much its simple features. Um, in my own opinion, I think this is awesome. You can save the deck. I'm sorry, I forgot to feature that off. Um, you can save it here with that option. You can also um, take advantage of it via um, other methods where you can set up how you want the cards to ascend or descend. Um, you have the feature of looking at the card's effects and whatnot on the side of the card results. And then you have a view of just the deck itself before or after you view it. Now, my overall thoughts about this application as I exit out. You can add more decks if you want to into the fray by pressing the building option and just build it from scratch. Okay, so I've done all of that. Now, what is my full opinion on this application? I think this is an okay app. I would grade this a B. Uh, the reason why is because I think this is a good function for both casual and competitive players who want an option to where you don't have to carry around so much on your person. Probably just carry your deck, your trade binder, um, you don't have to carry dice and stuff like that. The other option is that being able to look up other deck lists, whether it's TCG or OCG, at a click of a button. Um, being able to build your deck and share it with others via the internet or via the option of. You can also copy the deck itself and then have your own test and see if it's a version of the deck you like to play. Which are the good positives. The other positive is that it does have an inline calculator. You can test the calculator and information, you know, reset and all that for a calculator feature. Now, with everything that we've seen today, the improvements for me honestly have to be, um, of course, customization, because that is the thing that a lot of people would like to have custom customizations within the lineup itself. I think the deck options are great, but there are OCG cards here that are not seen. So Konami, that's something you should also look into. Do you want to expand both OCG and TCG with this? Um, is there an option to switch it to OCG to where you have the option of all the cards from both OCG or TCG? The other thing is that I do like how the display looks out overall, but in terms of cards, the card, the camera feature has to be worked on. You got to do something about that. Even with its accuracy and how I did separate the cards, I'm going to tell you guys this now. I did some testing with this um, before recording, and I still got the same option of where it was very difficult to take a picture of the cards and have it recognize the cards. I even got a dupe set up where it recognized two Harpy Channeler and not Harpy Channeler and Harpy Perfumer and Harpy Harpist. 
Life only gave me two Chandler and a perfumer. This is crazy, but... Um, just my overall nice. If you're interested in it, of course, you can check it out on your Google Play Store, your iOS, your Apple Store, your Google Play Store, depending on what your phone has. Um, I would recommend this for a few players, just because of how it feeds, but in my opinion, I'm, I, look, I got a calculator, I got dice, I got all of that. I think just more so of sharing decks would be probably my main process of sharing this if anything and then hopefully in the future when newer cards come in we'll have the updates and the update stuff will help you know expand this and it's a good idea i would hope to see more and maybe in the future we'll get a lot more in terms of that now um if you have your own opinions and thoughts you can always leave them in the comment section below and i will wrap up the video here so thanks everybody for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and of course um, feel free to leave your opinions on this new application below. Um, also, hit that notification bell so you guys can be informed of when I do upload more content. Because I do try to make that as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hit up me on social media so you guys can interact with me there. So when I do polls and stuff, especially Instagram. Because I do a lot of my polls there. It's a lot easier. So, thanks everybody for watching. HPJ signing out. And I'll catch you all next time.